dashboards give you a flexible space to monitor and analyze key metrics from across your organization. With dashboards, you can track ongoing product operations and conduct in-depth research. Dashboards are collections of insights and can be found in views at the workspace or team level. Create a new dashboard directly from the Dashboards tab or from an existing insight. Now, I'll walk you through three examples to show you how to create dashboards in Linear and use them to make data-driven decisions. We'll create a dashboard to measure bug and cycle performance for a development team, another to monitor distribution of effort across teams, and one more to manage internal IT request volume and responses. Let's start by creating a dashboard to track our team's performance on bug resolution over the past three months. To do this, I'll create a dashboard containing information about our issue counts, statuses, and resolution times. First, I'll start with the big picture, creating a table to get a count of all open bugs. To make this more actionable, I'll slice it by priority. And now I can double click on high priority open bugs and see a list of exactly what those issues are and who is working on them. Another metric we may want to monitor at this top level is our bug resolution time. I'll create an insight for that next. In this case, I'll be measuring lead time, which is the time from issue creation to completion. This type of graph can show our team's velocity and also reveal outliers. For instance, when slicing by priority, what I'll hope to see is that urgent bugs have a very short lead time compared to other priorities, and that even low priority bugs have a reasonable lead time. So when I see outliers, bugs that have taken an unusually long time to resolve, I can expect them to identify the factors that are slowing my team down. Another insight to consider adding is issue volume over time. Here, we'll measure how many issues we work on during each cycle, and then segment those by issue type. This helps map where the team's effort is going and flag unexpected spikes in bug reports that may point to a specific feature or product area that needs dedicated improvements. And with this dashboard setup, I can understand how well our engineering team is responding to bug reports from month to month, pinpoint bugs that may require additional attention, and make informed adjustments to improve our performance over time. This next dashboard monitors distribution of effort across teams. As a reminder, effort is calculated based on issue estimates. So in this dashboard, we've included a view of open bugs by team and priority, effort by team, effort by initiative, and effort by issue type. This provides a bird's eye view of where resources are going across my organization. It can tell me how much we are truly dedicating to our priority initiatives and goals, or if we need to reconsider how we distribute our team and their time. Our last dashboard will help us monitor internal IT requests imported into Linear using Linear Asks. The first few I'll set up here will give me a count of active issues and their SLA status. Our IT team might use this to prioritize and follow up on issues by risk level. On this dashboard, you'll see I've also set up a few insights for general monitoring. Three of them provide a lay of the land, showing the current number of issues in triage, unassigned but accepted issues, and issues completed this week. We've also added a graph to show issue lead time sliced by priority, similar to the insight for bug resolution times from the first dashboard I set up. These three dashboards make my organization's data coherent and actionable. Build your own dashboards to gain the visibility needed to make informed decisions to drive measurable impact on your team.